This video is part of an audiobook series featuring robots by the MIT Press Essential Knowledge Series by John Jordan in 2016. For more audiobooks, please visit my YouTube channel, find me on Spotify, or check out my website for downloads. Preface Attempting to write a book about robots represents a leap of faith. The field is already broad and expanding further, and it moves too fast for a multi-year project to be at all current. Why, then, did I proceed? The field of robotics is, I believe, entering a crucial stage. Technologies are good enough for mass commercialization, use by governments, and even to become invisible in their ubiquity. Robots will soon affect millions of people's lives more directly and profoundly. The technical choices made in robots' design not only embody value judgments and aspirations, they often have ethical implications. Every roboticist I have met is smart, humane, and well-spoken. Even so, I do not want a small population of scientists and engineers working in isolation to make all the decisions that can affect life, death, health, work and livelihood, class status, personal privacy, gender identity, the future of war, the shape of urban landscape, and many other domains. They need help and other perspectives. This book seeks to widen the circle of individuals who have a say in what robots can and should do, look like, include, and leave out. I hope that roboticists read the book, but the intended audience is the rest of us. Design choices made now may well be with us for decades, so now is the time to ask and to assert what good robots might look like. Because of the breadth and dynamism of the field, my narrative's emphasis falls less on completeness and the latest developments, and more on the enduring issues. What are the persistent capabilities, contests, and trade-offs that will characterize robots and robotics? Why do these issues matter? Many powerful scenarios involve humans and robots working in partnership, rather than robots replacing humans, whether on a battlefield, in a hospital, on an assembly line, or in the rehabilitation, prosthetics, or aging processes. Rather than focusing on either-or debates over what constitutes a robot, we will be better served by seeing compu-mechanical augmentation of human traits on a continuum. By necessity, this implies both that robots and human beings will be living and working closely, changing the nature of the human condition in important ways, in that, rather than becoming only slaves or potential overlords, robots will become humanity's partners. These impending changes make improving our theories, norms, and aspirations an urgent matter. This book, this leap of faith, is a small step in that direction. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and visit my channel for more exciting content.